Morning, Mwamuka Shan, Laka Laka, Afans Kona Makala La. Featuring D Boy Tillum, this is Ponyan Tole. DJ Toxic. Shinari, I'm guys, I almost insulted. I don't know if I'm a certain way. I don't know Speaking of Kumo and Suku, I'm going to go to Mwamuka Shan. Mundi mwaku shari piyanga mawadzi kuno mai. Piano. Backing go with the prominent vocal while wow, you're in the back saying Bonyan Dole. I feel like with piano, it's almost laid out for you. All you have to do is vibe and do your thing. You mess up there, you never go cringe. You got new tea or something. You're taking the essay rhythm. Find a way to place these words from your country on this with your own rhythm. Just taking it and fusing in your own language. So I don't know if there's originality there or you're just trying to fit where they are. So the only thing they ask is, what language is that? Sounds like what we do. Is it tends to be long. These songs are like rumba. The more I can have seven minutes, so it's the same thing. Malanda and the cotton do the beat entertains you. Cool. Here's what I noticed from Amakala La featuring D Boy Tell him Ponyantole Ponyantole. 
like I said before, piano almost has everything laid out for you. DJ Toxic, shout out to you, man. Nice beat, BD. All you have to do is vibe with it. But the question that's always coming in, everything was catchy, by the way. Don't get me wrong. You know, I I, I was vibing. But while I was vibing, my mind was like, hmm. Essay people actually deliver with this rhythm, with this tone. Ponyantole. Like you are already on piano, which they created, you know. Do you have to deliver with their rhythm? This is a, an honest question. It's not to downplay what you've done here. Because what I'm thinking now, this is a discussion that's even ongoing on my Facebook. Sete and Kuchalo. Uh, both Afrobeat. You, you may even argue and say Kuchalo has a, a mix of Zambian Dunka. But check how Tilo and KO deliver on these things. KO delivered with his rhythm. deliver when he's with that group of his tear gas. Tilo. Muchalo, kuchalo, I'm bilefe, finefe, embafe, nyimbofe, shimbi, but on Afrobeat. We can use, ama beats ya konsefe, mu Africa. But you have to represent, you know, other than putting your language on there, you also have to represent how we speak here, how we deliver. So that nga fiafika kulivadia, not that we want validation, Fiafika go different from what they do. They understand, ah, piano beats, ah, everyone loves these beats. Ah, Nigerians are using our drums and everything. But when you deliver with your language on their beats, make sure you deliver how you deliver on your beats so that they know that ite piano yesu. If umineku Zambia, but ama beats yesu. The production style is ours, but there's some sort of difference creating that identity to say oh e piano if me no e piano if me no but the originality or origin origin niku essay you know that, that's just what i'm thinking because afrobeat is international if we all deliver like the south africans or if we all deliver in pidgin english which is originally nigerian no one out there will be able to tell the difference they'll just think all these things come from either South Africa or West Africa. There won't be a piano that sounds like, ah, yeah, I think, although the beat and the style, the drums and everything are South African, yapa Zambia, tabakalalanda poefi, bakalalanda that, ah, delivery style, ide ufika yako ese. And people out there don't even really care to know where certain languages are from in Africa. You've heard people in the West and the UK or wherever call south africa like or call africa a country charlemagne the god did that recently so they don't really care to know what exactly is happening down here so we need to give identity to everything we do as zambian granted these genres piano and afrobeat are international but i feel like we need to jump on those with our own lingo and our own delivery style because this is what Af my africa also did they went on to afro pop beats from south africa with the same accent and the same delivery style as the south africans only that they were using nyanja you know could be why apa i i don't know if they are still a group or whatever but they trended for a while but when listening to my africa all the time the thing that was in, at the back of your mind was they deliver well they've really adapted to that style you know so that's the thing even with rap it's happening even with rap it's happening when, when you rap and you have too much of the american accent people have this thing where they throw stones at you and say ah, ah at least rap with the english that we use here or whatever or you know, too much of the American accent. The American accent is cool. Even I use it. But Africa is rich enough to have its own identity. Even while rapping on beats that we are inspired by other countries. That's just what I'm trying to say. Not knocking you down. Your song is nicely mixed. 
ama lyrics ya chiba jaiva 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 but i'm just talking about identities good beat though you know that's all what do you think of ponyantole 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 you know maybe i'm asking for too much is there even a way to deliver ponyantole on a piano beat in a zambian way tilo did it <laughs> this guy did it on sete when he could have easily gone the nigerian way and sang their way on his uh, on afro beat and from what i hear that sete song the afro the, the beat the instrumental was produced by a nigerian guy he saw it online then ko jumped on it with views of actually appealing to those masses kuliaku nigeria but appealing in a way that they know that we work south africa they work no but now jumping up at beat is killed it he's done it is in his own way type thing and that's what i feel we are supposed to do diamond platinum's jumps on afro beat and rumba from time to time but you can always tell this voice this delivery style tanzania because to ali full of africa we can share beats but let's represent that's all i'm saying that's the main point let me know what you think of ponyantole by amakala la i'm sure amakala la makala di featuring b boy tell him i don't know let me know if i'm wrong or not but that's what i picked what do you think of the song man